We are back at it again here with another video with the Invest for tomorrow. To the first time viewers and investors, welcome to the channel. To all subscribers, welcome back. Here we are with the SPY, the S&P 500 index, doing a full transition from bright green bars to red bars. And in today's volatility, it was pulling downwards for most of the day. And our SPY bot in the second half of the day at 1.40 p.m. sent out a bear indicator. And from that moment forward, Outflows cross the midpoint to the downside, pure weakness there on 42 vision, and put options went up 100% plus within an hour, guys. If you guys want to receive this clarity and edge of the charts, you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators, getting connected over to our bots, and becoming part of our growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts and using these resources to maximize in either direction whether stocks are going up or going down so here we are with the spy trying to hold itself up above the 439 area and fighting to get towards 440 here in the aftermarket hours and in today's video we're going to talk about what's going on with the inflow versus outflow the bull and bear indicators but before we do i want to share with you guys the home run opportunity that was mentioned this morning over at the discord so the home run day was spectacular beyond expectations and if you guys went about these stocks early on and received this clarity and edge of the charts you can now gain access to it as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together. So the home run idea was from our AMD bot. Our AMD bot sent out a bear indicator at 9.40 a.m. And from that moment forward, outflows crossed the midpoint to the downside. Pure weakness there on 42 vision. And put options went up 200% plus within an hour, guys. And as you see there pop up within the screen, within the options chain, some options even went higher than that. If you guys want to receive this clarity and edge of the charts, you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators, getting connected over to our bots. We look forward to having you join us and we strive for opportunities like these every single day. Let's jump into these charts. So here we are with the SPY, the S&P 500 index, doing a full transition from bright green bars, as I call it, the rip area to red bars so far. And the last piece missing would be white with red borders if this weakness continues to complete a full transition into the dip area. Now, if this is your first time coming across the channel, this is 42 vision, which allows us to see the dips from the rips, the rips to the dips, and where the strength and weakness lies within the charts and we also use our bull and bear indicators and inflow versus outflow as an extra layer of confirmation which i'm going to pull up here and you can now gain access to as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts and using these resources to maximize in either direction whether stocks are going up or going down and in today's video i'm going to pull up the inflow versus outflow indicator which adds that extra layer of confirmation and gives us that edge within the volatility so here we are with the spy the s p 500 index under a bear indicator at around the 441.33 area and outflows crossing over earlier in the day guys this is the first bear indicator that pops up since the recent bull indicator from yesterday at around the 436 area hit highs up here of around 443 and rejected here at around the same resistance in the second half of the day going into the after hours on the spy at around the 442 443 area and it struggled to come back up and now a bear indicator has popped up canceling out this bull indicator on the 30 minute and outflows are dominating and this is going to be crucial and critical going into next week. And I'm going to be watching these inflow versus outflows going into Tuesday, right? Because Monday the markets are closed. And Tuesday is going to be crucial to watch if these inflows can pick back up. 
or will these outflows continue? And I'm going to share with you guys the key levels I would watch going into next week. So the first thing is for the bulls to even have a chance to bring this back up and cancel out this bear indicator. These inflows need to pick back up from red to green, head towards the midpoint and cross it. If not, this weakness could continue to reflect into these charts. And if these outflows continue lower, there's still room here based off the history of the chart on these outflows to go all the way down to the most recent lows of negative 3.5, 3.6, and it's currently sitting at negative 2.37. So definitely something to not ignore there. And in the transitions of 42 vision, the last piece missing to hit the dip area would be white with red borders transitioning from bright green down towards white with red borders. So something to not overlook there as well. Now on the 30 minute, it's not the only one below the midpoint. It's also here on the 15 minute. It's fighting to come back up. And this is something I would not ignore. I'll be watching that very carefully going into next week. And on the one hour, we could see here outflows have crossed here significantly lower than yesterday, right? In the pre-market and the after hours of Wednesday, when that bear indicator popped up at around 437, quickly came back up, canceled it out with that bull indicator here at 436, and things hit highs here at 443, and that's where it struggled today. That's a huge resistance as we see it, and we talked about that resistance back on Tuesday and Monday, as well as on Wednesday, right? That has been a crucial level, rejected yesterday, rejected today, and inflows hit highs here of about 8.1. And now we're below the midpoint at negative 1.2. Something I would not ignore here in the bigger picture. If these outflows continue, it could continue to reflect that weakness into these charts. Now, if inflows could pick back up, well, there's still a bull indicator here at around the 436.50 area. And if it crosses back over, it could quickly start to reflect that weakness into the charts. And that's something I would not overlook as well here on the one hour now what are the key levels i would watch well the first thing is support guys and if we go ahead and zoom out here to the 30 minute we could see the support of the day was 438 439 i would watch that in this tight range and to the downside if these outflows continue and not only that but pull even further away here on the 15 minute going from green to red the next support i'll be watching is down here where the bull indicator popped up at 436 and if 436 gets broken through the next support i'll be watching is the 434 to 433 50 area huge support here on the pre-market on tuesday and wednesday afternoon so i would not ignore those levels to the downside if these outflows continue now to the upside if these inflows could pick back up cross over the midpoint and continue strong here on the 15 minute staying green and crossing back over because a full transition has happened here on the 15 minute from green bars to white with red borders if that could start that reversal with strength back up and found that dip area and support there and these inflows could cross over it could quickly start to reflect that possible strength into these charts and eventually cancel out this bear indicator up here at around the 442 area. And if these inflows can roll over that strength from the 15 minute into the 30 minute and continue upwards to eventually cancel out this bear indicator as well with a possible bull indicator, the next resistance above that is the 443 to 444 area. And then above that, I'll be watching the 445 to 447 area. And it's going to be crucial for these inflows to pick back up here as well on the one hour as you could see there how quickly things reflected into the charts once they cross back over on the larger time frame like the one hour and the 30 minute yesterday and that bull indicator followed up down here at around 435 as well as on the one hour up here at around 436.50 things went up to those new highs here of 443 so i would not ignore that and overlook this i'll be watching this very carefully going into next week the inflow versus outflow and the crossovers if it continues strong there on the 15 minute as it's trying to bring itself back up as well as if it can roll over into the 30 minute and one hour i'm going to be watching the bull and bear indicators 
very carefully. And these are the kilos I'll be watching to the upside and to the downside. As always, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And let's make some money.